Hi guys, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's Wild About Art. So today I'm going to draw a Clyde style for you and I'm using my, uh, I'll be using my pit pens that I just got the other week. Um, so I'm just drawing in the basic outline at the second. I'm just using um, just a reference I've found online and I've just changed it a bit to suit myself. So I'm just popping the bridle in and drawing the outline with my uh, mechanical pencil and then I just draw the chest plate, pop the markings in because they've got white legs and white faces, pop that chain down and then okay that's the outline drawing done. So now I'm going to go in with my pit pens and my first colour I'll be using for the undercoat is um, my raw umber. So I'm going to go over the whole horse with raw umber and just fill in everywhere and then I'll build up the layers as I go along. So yeah, I'll just take this right around this whole body and I'll just put little dots inside the chain following the direction of his fur and the direction of his muscles. And then I'm going across the grain and just filling in sort of sideways. So I'm just taking that in a couple of different directions and it just gets rid of some of those pen marks as it dries. And now I'm going in with a bit of Indian red just to add some deeper colours through his fur. And now I'm using a little bit of Caput Mortem and darkening up the darkest areas. Just building up tones as I go. And now I'm using a bit of dark sepia on his mane and just around the top line of his, of his back and the inside of his back leg. And now I'm going over everything again with the raw umber just to deepen up that colour altogether and blend it all a bit. And now I go into his face and all his white markings with ivory. Now these, these pens, they're India ink. So this is basically an ink drawing. So it's, it's a lot of fun. It's different. It's a definitely a different way of drawing and I'm really enjoying the textures and the, the colours and the depth of colour I can achieve. So now I'm going in with a grey and just popping the shadows in to all his stockings and white markings. And I just do the brown around his trim of his ears. And I pop a bit of a light grey on the chain and anywhere that's metal on his harness. Take that down to the ground. And then I go in with a bit of indigo, dark indigo. And I do the very first layer around the leather, which ultimately will be black, like it mainly will be black, but I'll just use the black as the darkest tones because it is, you know, the harness is reflecting light. So I go in initially with the lighter blue or indigo blue. It's a lighter dark colour. And then I go in with a grey, like a mid-tone grey, and then over the top with a black. But I don't do like completely do the leather out black. I leave some areas so that it leaves it like it's being reflected on. And then I go in with a Posca pen and put anywhere there's buckles and very light reflections. And he's got a real gloss on his coat on his back end. So I just pop that reflection of the gloss on his fur in and anywhere he's got glossy bits. Put a bit more detail on his harness. And then I go over the top of his mane with black and add his tail in. Then I pop a bit of grass down and because it's just been a, a harrowed field, it's the grass is quite a light brown. So I've just used a skin tone actually to um, put the lighter tone of brown into the, to the ground 
for the little grass stubble that he's standing on. And I pop some highlights on his chain with the Posca pen. And then I go back over again with a bit more raw umber and just in certain areas, just to add a bit of depth. Tidy up again with a bit of Posca, just around the feathers on their feet. Because those fluffy things around the bottoms of their legs, they're called feathers. Pop a bit of black trim around his ears, fill in his nostrils. Put the pink around his nose. And then I pop a little bit of May green into the stubble on the ground and he's done. So I hope you enjoyed this picture. It was lots of fun to draw. I'd love it if you click like and subscribe and I'll see you guys for the next video. Have an awesome day and I'll catch you then. Okie doke. Bye.